Hi, I'm Eric, a founder of Maya. And tonight I'm excited to give you a demo of our newly launched uh, product feature called Maya GPT. So Maya has been around for a few years, but uh, just now we've added an integration with ChatGPT made by OpenAI. So this is um, the combination of these two things. Uh, we've made something really cool and powerful to help uh, better serve your customers. And honestly, the results have been uncannily good and have exceeded our own uh, expectations. So you don't have to take my word for it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the demo of the tech. And once that's done, I encourage you to try it out for yourself with some live examples on our website. And then go further, uh, you can build one yourself uh, without any coding or any technical skill um, using our free trial. Okay, so the video is gonna be broken up into two, into two parts. The first part, I'll show you a few examples of, live, of bots and to get a sense of how it works. And then finally, I'm gonna finish off with a, a quick build to show you how easy it is to make one of these uh, bots running on Maya GPT. Okay, so let's jump right in. So the first example here is for a product called Notion. You might have heard of it. And this is a, a mock website um, where we've dropped the Maya chat widget on here running Maya GPT. So let's go and ask it a, the bot a question and see how well it uh, answers. So a pretty good answer. So one thing I'd like to point out here is that this bot was able to formulate this answer purely by crawling the content from Notion. And there was been no hand coding or any other form of training. And it looks pretty good. Um, let's try another one. Netflix. Um, so let's see what it says about account sharing, which is a hot topic these days with some of the new rules that are coming into play. And so, yeah, it looks like you can share with your parents, but as long as they live in the same household as you. So that's kind of a subtlety uh, that the Maya GPT product was able to pick up on. And uh, looks good. Let's jump into another example. All right, Product Hunt. So this is, a, this is a product discovery platform for tech enthusiasts. And let's see, it allows people to submit products, uh, product launches, like for example, Maya GPT. And so I was curious as to know if you're allowed to submit your own your own product. And let's see what comes up here. Yeah, so it looks like you can. Uh, and it goes further and expands on how to do that. So I'm going to take a pause here for a second to point out a few things. So you can see in all of the examples, you're able to customize this chat widget with uh, colors, avatar, and name that matches your, your branding. And uh, if you click sources here, you'll see that the content or these answers were derived uh, from some of these pages. Okay, let's jump into another example. So this will be, let's try something a little more fun. Uh, this might be something you've seen with ChatGPT. So let's ask uh, ChatGPT about Sochevore. So Sochevore is a uh, restaurant digital platform. And let's see, let's ask um, the bot if he can write a limerick uh, about Sochevore's value proposition. All right, looks pretty good. It got a nice rhyming uh, cadence here that matches the limerick. Looks good to me. And so the final example is something a little more fun. Um, I just crawled a, uh, a fan site and a few other pages for, uh, from around the web about Pearl Jam, that, the grunge band from the 90s. And let's see if it can get the list of drummers in chronological order. All right, it looks pretty good. It seems like it's in the correct order, including some overlap uh, with, with the dates. So that's a very, very good answer in my opinion. All right, so that's very cool. Um, so let's jump into the Maya side of things and see how you actually build one of these Maya GPT powered bots. Okay, so we're now we're inside of the Maya console, the web console, and you can see all of these apps that I just demoed for you uh, running. And let's go ahead and, and make a new one. And we'll redo the Sochevore one. Um, and so you simply give it a name and create the app. So it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for this to take uh, to get up and running. So I'm just going to pause and wait for it to come online. All right, so now the bot has been built. And as you can see, 
um, over here, there's a lot going on in the Maya platform. And so we've got a deep platform, but we're just going to focus on the Maya GPT aspects. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on integrations and navigate to the open AI integration that already exists. And what we're going to do here is we're going to specify the data sources um, for this bot to learn from. And so a popular data source, uh, so we have different data sources uh, that we support, sitemaps, URL lists, a web crawler, and then a manual text, and we plan on adding to this over time. But for now, let's just start with a sitemap. Um, and as <laughs> sitemap, if you haven't don't know what that is, is a simply a file at the, the root of most websites that allow Google to crawl your website. So we're going to use that same sitemap to have Maya GPT crawl Sochivore's website and learn about Sochivore. And this is basically the only step to train your bot in this case. Um, this, while, we're, while we're here, I'm going to talk about a few other features while it's crawling and then indexing this content. Um, what we found is it's useful to often add multiple different data sources. Uh, and it depends on what your data may, some of it may be on your website, some of it may be on your help center, maybe you have technical documents, uh, maybe you want to copy and paste some content from a legal document. It's, up, it's really up to you. Okay, so that's one thing I'd like to point out. And then the second thing is we include a default prompt template, if you know what that is, but we allow you to uh, modify this if you're an advanced type of user. And this is a really powerful technique. Just sort of ignore this right now. Um, we're not going to use this feature, but I just wanted to point out that we allow you to uh, override the default prompt template. Okay, and that's... Uh, I'm going to pause here while the indexing... It takes a couple minutes for the content to be indexed, uh, and when it comes back online, I'll show you the next step. Great, so I can see now that the sitemap indexing is complete. All right, so the next step, um, so we include a simulator. You can test this bot in here, but I'm going to go ahead and just drop this uh, bot onto your website. So uh, with this template of MayaGPT, we've included the web chat um, uh, SDK, um, but I'd like to point out there's other many other integrations that we've got uh, listed below. So we've got a, a, an orb, sorry, a mobile SDK for iOS or Android, and we've got WhatsApp, Shopify, Twilio, and a bunch of other integrations. So this is a very common use case to have a web. So uh, I'll show you that here. So simply go into here. Uh, you can configure the colors and uh, other, other aspects. But for now, I'm just going to copy uh, this JavaScript and paste it into my website. This is just a code pen. Um, it's blank. Um, and click Save. And so you can see this chat bubble appears. I'm going to switch to a full screen um, view. And now let's open up this chat and let's see if uh, it's able to answer some questions. So what is Sochivore? And let's check out what the bot comes up with. All right, so Sochivore is a digital hospitality platform built for independent restaurants, which is the correct answer. And um, as you can see, no coding required, simply crawling the sitemap and was able to come up with this answer. And so um, that concludes the uh, demo portion. Um, I hope you're interested in what you're seeing, and I'd like to see what you guys come up with uh, creative ways of using the Maya GBT uh, product and the Maya platform in general to solve your customer service needs. And i just like to, like to remind you that to get started, you just go to our website and sign up for our 14-day free trial. No credit card is required, and after that, plans start at $99 a month. Okay, great. See you online.